I'm John Swift and this is the Albion Boys. Uh, I think the most forgetful in the squad, um, I'll be honest, it's uh, I'd probably put myself up there as, and I think my girlfriend will probably tell you the same and everyone that knows me will probably tell you the same. Um, but I am also, <clears throat> I do sit with Brandon a lot at, um, at breakfast and literally the like three days ago, he must have put his breakfast down, he put his porridge down, his, his costa down and, and he had three minutes until the meeting. So um, we have a meeting at the same time every single day. And the fact that he did that right in front of me was, uh, that comes to mind straight away. So I'm gonna say Brandon. Who spends the longest in the mirror? I think um, it's a tough one. I think I got one of these. Someone said me on one of these. Um, I'm probably going to say Moe. I always, I'm always uh, walking past the um, when you come into the changing room, you have to walk past the toilets and the mirrors there. And I think I feel like every single time I walk past, I'm 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 seeing Moe in there doing his hair or. Um, always doing something in the mirror so uh, I think he Maui comes to mind first so yeah I'm going to say Maui. My coolest guy um, I'm going to say Chalo. Um, I think I like I like what he wears when he comes in sometimes he wears stuff that um, I don't think the, the ordinary person would wear uh, but uh, I, I quite like it. Um, it's quite uh, when he comes in, you sort of don't know what he's what he's going to wear. And when when he's training, he's he's either got something on his head or he's uh, got his trousers up by his knees. He, he's always doing something a little bit different. So um, yeah, I'm going to say Chalo. Brandon's a strange one when he comes in. Sometimes he'll wear something really tight. Sometimes he'll wear something really baggy. But like he's a little bit. Uh, I think he wants to. He really wants to dress really dress well. Um, but me and me and Brandon actually go back and forth a lot with uh, with our dress with our dress sense. So um, we always send each other little bits that we've got uh, Instagram posts that we 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 see. So. Um, at the moment, I'm probably going to say Brandon because he really, I think he tries to be a bit different, um, which I quite like, um, but maybe he's just, uh, he needs to maybe come in between sometimes where it's not like completely tight, not completely baggy, he maybe needs a little leveler. So I'm going to say Brandon. Sorry, Brandon. Um, biggest teacher's pet. Probably just got to go with the captain now. I think um, whenever you need something, whenever we the lads need something or an extra an extra day, or when we win and the um, we've got the next day off, I think the first person we speak to is is Jed, um, and then he's the first person calling for an extra day off when we when we come in for a win. So um, the gaffer very rarely goes for the extra day off, um, but I think if he's if we've got one person to send in and ask for an extra day, it's going to be Jed. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to say Jed for that. There's quite a few to be fair. I think Jed's up. Jed's definitely up there. I think Moe's up there. I like Jace, Jace as well, because I think Jace, he's so easy to get um, under his skin and, and he doesn't uh, hold back. Um, uh, I don't know if there's anything specific that I would say that, that they've they've all done, but I think just on a day-to-day -day basis, I could listen to Moe speak about anything, um, and he'll find some way of joking about it, and and someone will come in with a, with a story, and he'll he'll have a joke about it or, or something like that. And I think Jed's the same. It's just they're like someone will say something, and and their point five seconds of of a pause and there's a joke coming from either of them so um yeah i think definitely jed and uh jed and moe and then um i think jace is funny as well because he's just uh, he's an angry man so that comes out i 
I'd say the most serious in the squad is probably, I know he, he's been named for this one a few times, Shemi. He's quite a serious character. Um, you don't often see him smile, you don't often see him like laughing and laughing and joking, but uh, yeah, when it comes down to when it comes down to playing and stuff and, and training and that, he's very serious. And just around the place, he's he's quite a serious guy. So um, yeah, it's a bit. I wouldn't say he's like. I mean, serious is uh, everyone needs to be serious at some point. But I think Shemi uh, keeps that serious that serious face more than anyone else. So I'll have to go with Shemi. There's not many players on social media in this group, actually, to be fair. Uh, I'd probably say... Uh, I'd probably have to go with Brandon again, probably. Um, he's always sending me stuff on Instagram, sending me whether it's a message about something close or um, just anything, really. Um, but then every time I, I go on Instagram, he's always got a story up or... Um, yeah, so not many, not many players have actually gone on, go on social media that much, to be fair. Uh, but the ones that I do, well, the one that I do recognise and I see quite often is Brandon. He always pops up at the top of my Instagram page with, with some kind of story, quote or, or whatever he likes to put on there. So I have to go with Brandon on that. Mm -hmm.